what's up what's up i am so excited so okay the topic today is rock climbing so i've been sharing a little bit of like tumbling stuff a little bit of i don't know if i've ever shared volleyball but i do a lot of sports right like i've shared a bunch of random things on the channel. Um, I haven't really shared much about climbing, but that's something I've been doing since 2017. I got heavily into it, um, thanks to my friend who talked me into it, but I started bouldering and I got so much into bouldering. I was like doing that like outside, inside, all kinds of craziness and it's been fun. Um, and then slowly I kind of mixed in a little bit of rope climbing with that. So just like top rope and getting used to vertical walls and higher heights and then climbing outside and getting used to the height. Cause I am kind of scared of heights. Fast forward to last year, I wanted to do my lead climbing, um, get certified and start practicing lead climbing. Someday, I'm hoping that I can do some trad climbing or some multi-pitch, at least attempt it and say that I can do it and train for it and I don't know. I think that would be like super exciting but it's also so terrifying. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of training indoors, especially living in New England. The weather is sporadic. You don't always have ideal outdoor conditions so the gym is perfect and I've been training there a lot. I'm just so psyched because I'm fairly new to sport climbing and um, I'm just excited because I've been kind of stuck at the same level. I haven't really pushed myself to the next level because I'm always so scared of falling. Recently I've been working on projecting, which I'm really excited about and I did way better than I expected, <laughs> which is a nice surprise. but. Um, I'm so excited, so yeah, there's so much that goes into climbing, like the physical endurance, you know, like the learning curve, the pain, <laughs> the pain that you go through, especially like your hands and um, all of that. But the biggest one is of course mental because of the fear, especially with falling, it can get really freaky. I think what's great with projecting is you, intentionally climb something that's a little bit above your skill level and what that does is it gets you out of your comfort zone and um, it prepares you to also just face the ine inevitable like yes you're gonna fall you know you're not gonna make it but that's not the point put that aside and just focus on trying to get a little bit higher than what you've gotten before and there's something really freeing about that because already you're removing this pressure on yourself of failing. Like, you know you're gonna fail. I'm gonna say quote unquote fail because it's not really a fail. But you know you're gonna fall. So you just go ahead and go with it. And that kind of just pushed me to like, give it my all even more, if that makes sense. I decided, okay, let me just try this like, this 511, which is, I'm not comfortable leading 511s. I pushed past it. I felt a little more comfortable and I'm kind of proud that I got past that mental crux. The climb was not that hard, but based on the style of like, the way you're managing your rope and you're taking falls, it's mentally challenging. <laughs> a lot of it is just the fear in your head that you have to manage and knowing how to manage that and knowing how to fall, it's, it can get scary. Yeah, I'll just play the video real quick so you can see. Um, and yeah.
God. Yes. I'm not familiar with that type of move in such an exposed like position like that. Like my back is like towards the floor. The leg is really high up and that fall is such an exposed fall, you know? So, but now I know what to work on. Little random stuff here, but this is my climbing bag. I have a two duffel bags for very specific sports. So this is the climbing bag. And um, what do I have on here? Well, let's see. I have my good old carabiner. And this is a Gris Gris. It is a belaying device that keeps climbers safe. My climbing shoes by La Sportiva. Oh, I have a nice little quote in this bag. It says, be better and do better. And it's by Locky. I think this is by Black Diamond. It's my harness. And the big one is the rope here. <laughs> 60 meters long. But what I should be doing is at least properly wrap it up and I'm probably just gonna fast forward this part of the video. Oh, all right, here's my necklace. I don't know, maybe I'll share like, I'm hoping to go camping again this summer and get some climbs outside. So if there's anything like post worthy of like a big project that I'm doing, maybe I'll do that. But I usually just document like my friends, I photograph their climbs and stuff. And um, yeah, that's it. So yeah, that is it. I have no idea what to say right now. So I'm just gonna stop the camera. Peace.